That's Rugby covering for Chelsea. Oh, he's made a mistake. And a great chance for Woodcock to latch onto it. And what a good save by Eddie Nijbeski. Well, Woodcock there had so much time, perhaps he had too much. Rugby's error misjudged the pass back. Tony Woodcock clear, except for the goalkeeper, who obviously got the angle dead right and made a vital save. Here's Nevin. Oh, and speedy in space. Turned well, good block, Spackman. It started with Pat Nevin. It was an intelligent ball into Speedy. He checked nicely to get it onto his left foot. Shot blocked by the defender. And Spackman, who's still looking for his first goal in Division 1, shot narrowly over the top. And here's Talbot. That's a good-looking ball behind the fullback. Woodcock's in here. And Nicholas just saw the beginning of an opening at the near post. Charlie Nicholas. And well set up to Brian Talbot, adding his presence to the Arsenal attack. And Anderson is climbing. As he often does from those Arsenal corners, a useful goal scorer with four for Arsenal and one for England this season, Viv Anderson. Talbot again, the man first to the ball. And Woodcock in here the second time. And on this occasion, He's badly hurt, I think, because the goalkeeper has shown immediate concern. That's the second time Chelsea have made an error which has allowed Woodcock in. This time he had to take it very quickly. Nijbeski again came fast, put him off, saved the situation, and then turned in anxiety because he felt Woodcock had hurt himself quite seriously. But fortunately, that wouldn't appear to be the case. He's back on his feet. That's Mariner. And Kate Stumble. Woodcock now. Talbot's made a good run forward. Still Woodcock. Oh, off Nitschbeski's body, but it's safe, the corner. Good turn and shot by Tony Woodcock. Marin is there. Very close. Timed his run beautifully there, Mariner and just got the sort of contact he wanted, but the header flying just wide of the far post. Break, Darren Wood. Oh, speedy free on the left wing. Arsenal left it wide open, and David Speedy, good stop by Lukic. Speedy can't believe it. The chance of the match for Chelsea, foiled by Lukic. Darren Wood pushed into midfield now that Nevin has gone off. Saw the opening there on the far side and he had Speedy in space. Speedy checked beautifully to come inside, did it right. And then Lukic blocked his shot. And Williams. And Woodcock. He can find Sansom. And back to Woodcock. And Sansom right to the line. It was well hooked back. And Nitzvesky couldn't stop it. And Mariner came in, and he scored for Arsenal, as he did on the opening day of the season against Chelsea. And it was all down to Kenny Sansom joining the attack. Got down to a bouncing ball, almost on the dead ball line. And when the cross came in, Mariner made it look easy. Nijveski got a hand to it, but he couldn't keep it out. Sting in the tail of the match for Chelsea. Clocklin's there, so is Dixon, Speedy, yes, the equaliser in the 89th minute, and the Chelsea fans have something to celebrate with David Speedy, the Clocklin caused confusion, Dixon was a presence too, but when Speedy got the chance to lob that in, he made no mistake, and what a relief for him and the supporters, after missing the earlier chance for Chelsea. Of regaining their lead in injury time. But it's too late. The points are shared. And in a sense, that means Mariner's goal 
which could have given Arsenal three points, ends up only earning them one. David Speedy equalised with just about a minute to go and presented Chelsea with a point late in the day and kept up their record of scoring in every home match since August. The pitch was playable, the teams competed well and in the end the score is exactly as it was at Highbury on the opening day of the season. Chelsea won, Arsenal won.